Hello everyone. Now we're going to take applying the distributive property of multiplication. So here, on the first example, if we have an array of three rows and five columns, so I'm going to take the big dimension, which is five, and I'm going to cut it into two numbers. If I added them together, I'll get five, two add-ins. So the first time I'm going to take three plus two, three plus two equals five. So now, I have three, which is the rows as it is. So I'm going to have it three times the first addend, which is three. So three times three plus three again, which is the row three times the second addend, which is two. So someone else will say that, no, I'm not going to take the two add-ins as two and three. I'm going to have them as four and one. Yes, four plus one equals five. So the first time here, I'm going to multiply three, which is the rows, multiply the first add-in, which is four, plus the rows again, which is three, times the second add-in, which is one. A second example here, if I have an array of three columns and four rows. So of course the bigger dimension is four. So I'm going to cut four into two numbers, into two add-ins, which are one and three. So one plus three equals four. So first I'm going to have the three, which is the smaller dimension or the columns, three times one, which is the first add-in, plus three again, which is the smaller dimension or the columns, multiply three, which is the second addend. Someone else would say, no, I'm not going to break four into one and three. I'm going to cut it into two plus two. It's an incorrect answer as well. So I'm going to have three multiply two plus three, which is the rows, uh, sorry, which is the smaller dimension, the columns, multiply two, and then we'll find the answer. Thank you, primary three.